Yo conozco a todos los diseñadores de Marcel Martelé. Marcel Martelé. You ready to go? Oh, <laughs> well, look at us. <laughs> hey, what's up? Um, I'm here with Angela and Arthur, and you're going to tell us about the jewelry that you make. What 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 is this? Uh, we are Brick Love Jewelry, and um, we make handmade uh, earrings, and we also make necklaces from uh, minifigure pieces. So we have uh, skull heads, and we've got some potion bottles, and then these are our handmade um, necklaces. The front is actually the clasp, awesome. and we use Swarovski crystals and silver plated uh, chains. Sweet. How long have you guys been doing this? Well, it all started with actually our anniversary back in February. He made the first one and gave it to me as a gift, Aww. and I said, we could make a business out of this. <laughs> so uh, about two months ago, we had our first convention appearance, and so we're starting to get onto the scene. Cool. Cool. And you're getting a good response? Yeah, it's been very positive response. Lots of people very interested in what we're doing. Doing. Not many bites, but we're hoping for uh, some good luck this convention. You keep doing it, I, you, you'll get more popular. Absolutely. We're banking on the holiday season to really uh, do this because that's, yeah. that's what we want. There we want you people, go. We yeah. want to, you know, bring the geek chic back and, and let people wear what they love. So. And is this are these sets up here that you've done? Or uh, these, these are all. Stuff? This is all my custom stuff. This is stuff that I do just as a hobby. I've been building Lego since I was. You know, like six yeah, years too. old. So I mean, it's <laughs> it's it's something that I've loved always. And uh, Lakers are awesome. Yeah, I'm inspired by you know video games and comic books and other, all the other stuff that I've been just into my whole life. So and our nerdy hobbies. So this is a uh, dice tower for Dungeons and Dragons. Awesome. So it's completely functional and it's, uh, oh, it's a showstopper so at the cool. table. I like that. Yeah. And then this is Metal Slug from the arcade game, and we have a Sparrow from Destiny. Nice. And uh, some custom robots for Mobile Frame Zero, which is a tabletop game as well. That is yeah. cool. That yeah. How long does it, average, on average, how long does it take you to build one of these? Uh, it really depends on the model. I, right. I've never been a like instruction kind of guy. I just, I'm just i best with a pile of parts in front of me and yeah. I just sit there for anywhere between a half an hour and I nail it or <laughs> just uh, or, you know, or start over. <laughs> or, or three hours later, I've got one thing done. You know, yeah, it, you it really depends. <laughs> I used to, when I was little, I used to have a, a full dresser drawer of nothing but Legos. Yeah. I would just dump them out and just start building. Yeah, and that's that's yeah. honestly that's the best way for me. That's so. awesome. Are these for sale too? No, unfortunately, these are my display oh. models. Although we do do, I am uh, interested in doing commissions. So oh, if people nice. want something commissioned, nice. um, I'm more than willing to discuss with them what it is they want. Cool. And I'll send them updates and how it's looking and everything like that. Nice, nice. And so. if people want to get in touch with you, like online, how can they do that? We have an Etsy store, so um, we're Brick Love Jewelry on Etsy, and we also have an email, bricklovejewelry at gmail.com. Sweet. All right. Thank very you very much, guys. Thank very you. nice meeting you. It's a pleasure meeting you. Thank you. Thanks. Enjoy the convention. Thank you. <laughs> Don't block the sun. <laughs> That's cool. I like that. Thank you. Awesome. All right, I am here with Chris, and uh, he's got some amazing 3D art. Um, and, and tell us about this. What, what is all this? So, uh, I got into 3D printing, and uh, I got a machine to do all types of things, to get, fix knobs around the house, do all kinds of, you know, experimenting. Cool. And then once I had the printer, I said, what would I really love to do? And it's make toys. I'm a yes. sci-fi head, so I love 
love Star Wars and stuff like that, and I, I kind of mashed up the Buddha body. Uh, so I took a Buddha body and mashed it up with sci-fi heads like Terminator, and so I have Buddhas <laughs> of, of everything from Alien, Alien. to Terminator and all the Star Wars characters. So Very that's nice. what I do as a business now. It, it went from one machine to now we have 16 machines at home wow. that run 24-7, and it's my business. Wow, that that's amazing. Yep. How I, grew. How, I, I see there's different sure. sizes. Now you, how yep. long does it take to make a small one? Well, that's the great thing. Instead of sculpting, having a digital file, I can do a two-inch version, a four-inch version, a six-inch version with the same file. I don't have to make right. new molds. I don't have to do anything. So the smallest takes about one hour, and then three hours, and then the biggest about five hours. Wow. But then we have these jumbo ones. This takes about 30 hours to print. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And how much do they run? Uh, what I sell them for? Uh, yeah, what do you sell I sell them for? for 10, 20, and 30, but the big mama is like uh, 75. Wow. That's a big one. Are they hollow? Or yeah, they, they're, they're all hollow. Sell, okay. Some people put them in their, uh, in their gardens as like a garden gnome. Garden gnome? Other yeah. people fill them with sand and put it in a uh, put it in their fish tank. Cool. You know, so it has a lot of uses. Very cool. Yeah. How long have you been doing it? Uh, just over two years. Wow, that's yep. pretty cool. And, and you've got a cool lineup. I love it. Yeah, love there's more movies. than more than 60 characters yeah. now, and I sell them like uh, through Etsy and eBay and Amazon and do live events. So it's it's been awesome. exploding. Awesome. Very cool. And if uh, people want to get in touch with you, like online, how can they sure. find you? Sure. Just go to Mucky Chris M U C K Y Chris dot com, and you'll find all this stuff. Awesome. Cool. Thank you, Chris. Cool. I appreciate you. it. Excellent. He's going to do a sweep, and we're going to talk about all your hard work. Thank you. Do you like my lightsaber microphone? It's, it's brilliant. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this. Okay, I am here with Daphne. Yes, hi. And she's going to tell us about the incredible work that she has spent so much time doing. Yes. Um, so tell us about this. Hi. Um, well, my name's Daphne, and this is my comic book, Tall Tales. And uh, when you said it took me a long time, it definitely did. Um, this book was like 20 years in the making. Really? Yeah. This is what happens when the only time you can do when you can do artwork uh, while you're working or going to school. Yeah. So you know whatever yeah. little time yeah. I could get. Um, so and what it is like I what it is it's a fantasy adventure sort of like if Disney did Lord of the Rings. Okay. And um, the original series is 20 issues. And uh, oh, this is a, another book that I have artwork. Oh. And this We're is more of a collab. Yes. <laughs> You're screwing us up, Lou. <laughs> well, go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. I'm, so, we'll start with one so first. With, yeah, start with, uh, there so, we go. Like I said, so Tall Tales is 20 issues. Okay. That uh, that took me about 20 years to do. Wow. Right. So it literally is a labor of love. Right. That's, that's and, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and. Um, you know, we just finished a Kickstarter for this book, so we're just getting uh, copies are just becoming available okay. because you know our Kickstarter people get their copies they, first. Yeah, right? they get it first. Yes. So um, our book is going to be available on our we on on my website or our website. Okay. Um, at www.talltalesonline.com. Okay. Right. Cool. So you'll be able to check it out online, read read issues for free, and copy That's and nice. uh, purchase the book oh. as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. Now the other book that you up, that we put up prematurely. <laughs> right. So this one is a collaborative effort uh, with a whole bunch of artists and me included. Uh, it's the same writer who did Tall Tales. I only did the artwork for Tall Tales. Okay. But this, it's the same writer for this book and Tall Tales. Uh, he's just not here right now. Okay. So it's a JD Calderon. He's the writer. And with this book, it's a it's a, a more of an urban fantasy 
fantasy uh, about a mouse that lives in the middle of Manhattan and the adventures that he has with his neighbors is a fairy and a troll. And it's all a collection of short illustrated stories and uh, comics. Nice. About all the different adventures that he has. Cool. And this one, you can actually read an ongoing story right now online at the oswaldchronicles.com. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm not used to actually saying, saying the website. Out loud, yeah. out loud, yeah. <laughs> I do it too, you know, people yeah. are like, oh, where can we find your channel? Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I have to look at my shirt. <laughs> On the intertubes. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Sweet. So how, how's it going today? Good, good. Yeah? Uh -huh. you enjoying it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Do you do a lot of com conventions? Yes, I do. Yeah. Sure. Although, although this one is actually the second to last one of the year that we're doing. Right. So yeah. So yeah. our like our next convention we're going to be at is a WinterCon in Queens. Okay. Right. Nice. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to New Jersey Expo right. next week. Right. Weekend. And that'll, that'll probably be the last con that right. we do for the year. Right. Yeah. Because uh, it gets, now, yeah. Yeah. Now that it's getting cold out, you know. Yeah. I don't want to go anywhere. Less, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and lug all this stuff back and forth. Exactly. Yeah. Well, it was very nice oh, meeting you. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. Thank you for talking to us. Sure. And uh, we look forward to uh, reading your stuff. Oh, thank you. Awesome. Thanks. Cool. <laughs> We're going this way. <laughs> nice. How long did it take to film it? Shot in two days. Two yeah. days. The bulk of it was shot in one day. I scouted out the quarry in Rockaway, a big, beautiful quarry. Went out there twice. We wanted to have a terrestrial, like, you know, a planet. So we found this cool quarry. Went twice. Brought my DP. We, we brought the camera. We got some shots. We go back that Sunday morning. We get there with the cast and crew. Have everything in the car, all the food and everything. Because, you know, we, we like to put in jail and we sneak in. And who's there security? We went there two weeks in a row, no security. <laughs> and besides, I could scoot around. I said, it'll be a mile walk. It's a mile walk into a park. We can't do that with the cast and the girls, bathrooms, everything else. So my girlfriend says, what about Area R, the place we just for a different shoot? Holy shit, it's just down the road. So we shot over there in the woods. We didn't want to do the woods. We wanted to make it look like a planet. But something about the fall leaves and the, the texture of the, the environment did sell it, I think, well enough. But anyway, let me let you ask the question. I'll, I'll go from there. Any more questions? Yeah. Well. Um, now, who did you say again gave, watched Kathleen this? Kathleen Kennedy, the president of Lucasfilm. We entered this in the Star Wars competition. Attention Kathleen attendees, we have a blue ticket winner for the North <laughs> Prize, <laughs> number 167781. The rules were that it's five minutes long. 167781. Two days later, one of our crews saw the announcement. It's a, it happened to be our script was like a four-page script, and it wound up being exactly five minutes. So we never shot this for the competition. We entered it, we wound up being in the top 25, and then shortly after the competition ended, we got an email from Lucasfilm's Disney and it said, you have been selected, you're not allowed to say anything, we're not telling you what you want, but you can come out to Anaheim if you want. So we had to sign uh, non-disclosures. We flew out, we didn't know what we wanted, we waited in each award, we're like, were we really supposed to be here? And we kept losing, 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 and finally, a video comes out of Kathleen Kennedy herself. She produced E.T., Paul Spielberg stuff, Indiana Jones, Toy Con attendees, Toy Con attendees. Put it on the size name, not Iron Horse, because we're Kids not from Knight Rider. Company, we're not. So it's going to be leaving in about 10 minutes. Picked us, and we 
If you want to see kids from Night Rider, the car, come out front. It will be leaving so in 10 minutes. We're doing fan films because obviously we think we've got talent, but no one wants to see me play a Jedi. But we do it off Star Wars, we give popularity. So our YouTube channel now has 10 million views. We did Five Nights at Freddy's, which is going to be one of our next films. We're going to show Boys Away for Five Nights at Freddy's. I know you guys may know I'm going to stick around for that. It's only five minutes if you want to see one of our next films. Um, but our channel's got about 10 million views, 150,000 subscribers, mainly because of Freddy's. When we put the Freddy video up, the kids love Freddy. It's not Freddy Krueger. Five Nights at Freddy's. Freddy is a, he's a fictitious, like he's a, uh, he's a Chuck E. Cheese character in a different world based on Chuck E. Cheese. Mm -hmm. Cap Juan, the guy who made the video game, stole it from them, recreated the characters, and basically the security guard has to survive Five Nights at Freddy's. So, huh. The last one, though, part four, was a boy having a nightmare. Attention, oh, attention. That's the one you want to see. There's that a silver minivan parked in front of the yard. You're blocking a ramp that we need to get yes. into the building. That was framed by frame, 24 uh, frames per no, second. No, it took over no, two months for him to do it on night, so we can't do it. Oh, uh, it's silver. The hardest and it has a console plate on it. You have to move it, or you're going to tow it. We need to get a car out. The thing is, they were a little thicker than most, like, the real stuff. Star Wars, we had thin half inch PVC pipes, but during rehearsal, a few people got hit. But black on the Civic in the second row of the parking lot. You're blocking the path where the handicapped people have to come through. So they are. Black on the Civic. Come on out and blow it, please. People criticize everything, but that's okay. Paint program, or what did you He used something in, I don't know, not After Effects. I don't know what he used. Something in one of the effects that he has. But it took it took over two months to do. It's only a five minute film, and the fight scenes are about three minutes. Um, Steve's here, the guy, uh, the guy who's all black, and yeah. he's, he's out there. He, he, I think he did a great job. I think all the characters, the girl, did a phenomenal job, and I think that's one of the reasons why Kathleen Kennedy really picked it, because the story was good, the, uh, the acting was pretty good. I mean, I mean, there's holes in it, I guess, but uh, but I felt Catalina did a great job. She's a strong female character. Yeah. And her I felt reaction when her, her buddy gets gets hurt yeah. was very. Really yeah. Well, her buddy was me. That was yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that was, yeah. Yeah, that was me. I look a little yeah. different now, but that yeah. was me. Well, trouble is you. Knowledge is wonderful. Knowledge is much more crucial. I slightly regret you. Those lines always open a shot last fall. So, next up is the Five Nights at Freddy's Don't Cry. Yeah, you I saw it on that? YouTube. You did? Don't you look it for me. You saw it on YouTube? Yeah, yeah. I did. You get to see it again here. Yeah. Uh, it's only five minutes, like guys. It goes fast. This is based on uh, Scott's. It was supposed to be his final uh, film. This film now has two and a half million views on our channel. It's our number one film, and we're really proud of it. So, oh wait, no, I'm sorry. This one has 600,000. The other one has two and a half million. So I'll cue this up, and we'll go. And oh wait, you know what? Before I, I go with this, let me let, make one announcement that we're doing Freddy now. See if we can get some more people. You guys mind? Yeah. All right, hold on. Yes, no, yes, no. Give me a million around the world. There's a huge following in Russia and all around the world. So we decided making these fan films, we can springboard off the popularity of these games, make a high quality film, and go from there. I always believe in life, you follow your dreams, you give passion, good things will happen, all right? Remember that. So, any questions about this one? How did you guys make I didn't see the floaters and the... Those were in the last of us. That's coming up in a little while. The Last of Us is a 60 minute film, and it, it, it would require sitting here for a little while, so I don't know if you want to do that. There's three yeah, films, you combine them into one, and it's awesome. I mean, I could show you a couple of scenes from it. Are these on the web? These are on the web, yeah, on our, on our channel. Yes? Uh, did you guys, like, use robots? No, those were all CGI. A company uh, liked our work on YouTube and said, hey, use our animatronics that we built in your film. So we borrowed them from them, and they said, hey, you can use them, so we used them. Uh, the only thing, there was, there was, those were all CGI. Everything in here was, there was no practical effects. Everything was, like, you know, animated. What other questions? How many films are you planning or have you made? Uh, well, ha uh, we made so far? Yeah. Uh, we've made, let's see, two Freddy's. Um, the Last of Us, we made three of those. We combined it into one, but on the line, there's three of them. Um, we made uh, a Call of Duty uh, short. Um, we just released our Batman. Our Batman's really cool. It's a, it's, a, it's a strange, not strange, different concept. It's Batman caught on tape. That's only five minutes. I can pop that in next if you want to see Batman. Um, you want to see another Five Nights at Freddy's? Yeah, the one. 
Cold storage? You want to see that? That's a little while though. It's more than five minutes. You do want to see that? Well, maybe let's just see if anyone else wants to see another short, sure. and I'll put the longer one on. You guys done, or you want to hang in a few more minutes? No. What are we gonna do? We gotta do interviews. We gotta do interviews. You gotta, you gotta roll? Yeah. yeah. You can check all our stuff they out. Can stay, the they can stay, though. They can stay. But I would love to, to you know, talk to you guys. Sure. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. guys do some awesome stuff, too, right? You're yeah. Casting ghosts. Mm -hmm. uh, we filmed many abandoned buildings that I found. We, we filmed The Last of Us in the old um, abandoned um, asylum over in, uh, in Verona. It's called, uh, um, what's the name of it? Uh, hold on. Why am I not? It's not coming to you. Brain fart. Huge, massive asylum <laughs> in Verona, Fairview. Uh, you may have heard of it. Attention toy con attendees. And then we fill up the electric toy con coach. attendees. You ever heard of that? If you, you have a silver Toyota minivan, automatic yeah. Automatic yeah. Automatic yeah. Automatic yeah. by the yellow line outside. Yeah, front. yeah. beautiful stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And the cops yeah. have chased us. It's going to be cold in five minutes. We need to get a vehicle off the sidewalk here. So, yeah, a minivan outside. You guys have a vehicle on the side of the street. All right. Move it now or it's going to be done.